So the question says the oxidation state of chlorine in NaClO3 is dash. So, um, how did it that's correct? But how did you get plus five? Um, you should know by now, you should know the oxygen set of clue, yes, yeah, sodium, <laughs> and then you just do sodium, blah, and then this three. Times the minus two now. And then so three times um minus two get minus six. So you now do eleven minus six and you to zero to get five. Eleven minus six, have you? Yes, sir. Mm. That is not actually correct. Oh, oh, eleven minus six. Let me get it. six. Oh, eight, eight. He's not oh, okay. five. So eight, eight was. Okay. Yes, eight, eight was. So it's like, 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 uh, are you listening? Yes, sir. Okay, so the sodium is uh, plus one, okay? And uh, the oxygen is minus two because there are three. That will be times three, which is minus six. Then the chlorine is the one that we want to determine. Normally, chlorine is negative one, okay? Yeah, I'm seeing. Chlorine is negative one, but in this combined state, it's forming triosochlorate. So sodium triosochlorate dash, okay? Is that clear? Yes, sir. That is like finding the name sodium trioxochlorate something. And you were right by saying five, okay? But how to get the five is the so call it X. So it should be neutral as we can say. That of chlorine plus one of sodium plus negative six should give us zero. So then x minus five equals zero, then x equals to plus five. So that is why you say it is plus five, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, the next question. So will be for Sarah, okay. Okay, so question. So. So. Um, whenever you are in class, I want you to suspend side discussion, okay? So, Sarah.
Multiple proportion. That one is talking about the ratio, the simple ratio. Okay, of, sorry. Um, conservation of mass. Yeah, that one is correct. Because it is it has to be balanced, okay? Yeah. So further details to that could be the law of conservation of mass is important because it allows us to predict the amount of product formed in a chemical reaction as well as the amount of reactants consumed. So the next one will be for... Uh, please wait, that's definition. Uh, it's for it's messy there. Yeah? No. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. So I think it's enough that you are No. <laughs> <laughs> messy, what is the matter? That is enough person. Does it ask does it ask weight? Does it ask occupy space? What is okay, the matter? Okay, that for matter. I mean, what is the matter? <laughs> okay, matter has to do something the next person. How it? Is there what is the problem? Okay, what I'm saying is the next person. Okay. Next is the matter. The next is not to go. No matter. No mind. <laughs> Don't mind, Messi. So, Messi, this one. Which of the following oh, terms of elements has the greatest difference in electronegativity? Um, no, I can't like that. So, I think chlorine and sodium. I think. So, since chlorine is. Chlorine and uh, sodium, right? Wait, chlorine has a charge of uh, negative one, right? And sodium has a charge of uh, positive one. Well. <laughs> What is the atomic number of uh, fluorine? Flo no, fluorine, F. Okay, fluorine, um, no, no, no. Nine. 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 Yes. So, that's also 2,7, which is also mm. negative one. Mm. Um, in the... In the combination of, I mean, on the group of uh, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and uh, iodine, chlorine, yes. chlorine is fluorine is above the F, okay? So it has higher negativity compared to chlorine, compared to bromine, and compared to iodine. So it is sodium and fluorine that we're mm -hmm. going to go for, okay? Yeah. So the next one is chlorine, while the next one is bromine, and the last in the terms of the negativity is uh, yes. iodine, okay? Yes. So let's take note of that. Then for, for Thai, let's look at this. Some of you are still engaging in side discussion. So, Tai, this is your question.
B. Yeah. The answer is B. Okay. Somebody might be wondering what is this question doing in chemistry? I said that's correct. Somebody might be wondering what is this question doing in chemistry, but it's part of it, okay? Now the next question goes back to um goes back to Moses. <laughs> so Moses <laughs> Moses. Yes, this is, this is your question. Hello, those who are talking, she let us have silence, please. Yes, Moses. We have six. 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 We have the intermolecular forces in protein are stronger than that of dressing protein. Mm, we cannot really talk about. Say is they. Uh, we cannot really talk about that intermolecular forces being the cause, because if they are in the same homologous series, then it has mm -hmm. to have mm -hmm. almost the same intermolecular force. Okay. Because you know, propane and pentane, they are in the arcane series, right? Yeah. Okay. So for propane, propane is the third member, right? Yes. Which has three carbon and eight hydrogens. Then pentane. That's how many carbon? Five, five, six. Five. Then how many hydrogens? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's twelve. So this one is C uh three H eight. This one is C five H twelve. So What's the Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Nine hundred. So, how? Because there are more carbons in pentane, it will have higher boiling point. So, pentane has more bonds to break, whether covalent or whatever we call it. Okay. Is that clear? Yes, Pentane has more bonds to break. That's why the boiling point is higher than that of a uh, propane. Mm -hmm. So the the other part of it that we can go through is that you can say the boiling point of arcanes, not necessarily one particular arcanes, increase with the increasing number of carbons. So the first one has three. The other one has five, as in the propane has three, then the fifth, which is pentane, has five. So this is because the intermolecular attractive forces, although those forces are individually weak, but the more... They, relatively more... The more the... What did you say? I said they become... Clean. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. The more they add up, the more... They require energy to get broken. Yeah. So the next question is for Sarah. Let's see. Um, okay. 
So, you see this one. Option? Option. So, Sarah, hello, Tai, just calm down. Sarah, here's a question. Which of the following solids would not decompose on heat same? Yeah. will not decompose on heat scene. Oh, is that Sir. talking, making noise there? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Potassium. Mm. Potassium trazocarbonate form. Yeah, you are right. So trazocarbonate of trazocarbonate four of sodium and potassium are stable to heat. So your answer is correct. Sir, please wait. Okay. What's the matter? So you only do one. No one do one. No one do one. No one do Okay, the next question is for who? Mercy. 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 Okay, let's see what we have here. So, yeah, this is your question, Mercy. So, Messi, this is the question. Three molecules have double bond. Okay, double covalent bonds. Between, between two atoms. Okay, so between, between two atoms, I said. Thing is, I think 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 formula or uh, molecular formula okay it is by the number of electron that they are sharing exactly so double covalent bond is the bond that is formed by sharing two electron pairs between two atoms in which each atom contributes Two electrons. Two electrons. In water, does does one atom of uh, hydrogen does it contribute two electron? No. Okay. No. Uh, uh, so that is the odd one out here. Oh. So and the bond that exists in water is hydrogen bond. Okay, the next question will be for Tai, right? Okay, so let me see. Okay. 
So Ty, here comes your question. Order. I read the question and try to answer it. Inside. Inside. Yeah, the type of isomerism exhibited by cis and trans isomers is dash. Uh, yeah, sorry. <coughs> The main thing there, you need to know what is isomerism, okay? Isomerism. Hey. Isomerism. Yeah. So, I is the phenomenon in which more than one compound have the same chemical formula but different chemical structures. Mm -hmm. So, talking about uh, cis and trans, the isomerism that exists between them is geometric. That's geometrical. Cis trans isomerism also known as geometric isomerism or configurational isomerism you know, exists when atoms or groups are arranged differently in space due to restricted rotation of a bond or of bonds in a molecule so the correct option there is b okay Then the next question goes back to Moses. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so Moses, here comes your question. Ah, this was the So B. B, right? B. Yes. How are you sure? It says which of the following has the lowest uh, boiling point, right? <laughs> what you need to get used to is the boiling points, okay? <laughs> the boiling point of butane is minus one degree Celsius. That of uh, ethanoic acid is 118 degrees Celsius. So take note, this one, butane, okay? And that is negative one degree C. Then this one, ethanoic acid. The boiling point is 118 degrees C. Water. 100. 100 degrees C. And ethanol. That is 78.37 degrees. So which one has the lowest boiling point? 
Lowest boiling point. Minus two. No. Minus one. Okay. Yes, internal. Minus one. Yes. Okay. No. Yes. Lowest okay, lowest boiling. Is this 78 or minus one? Which lowest is negative one now, right? No, I'm correct. Mm -hmm. So it's a good thing. So the next question goes to Messi or oh, Sarah rather. Let's see. Okay. So, Sarah, check this. This is your job. And uh, for the options, let me see. So these are the options. So C is minus top of two. C is twelve. B, right? So, so how did you get B? I so distribution common the mass would have a molecular formula H because one C is not always sixteen. So but I just know it's big, but I don't know the answer. Okay. I don't know why I go. Okay, let's look at it now, please. I don't want side uh, distraction this time, okay? Now, we have 60% carbon. Carbon. And C is 12, H is 1, O equal to 16. Then 60%. 16 rather. Yes. Yeah. So 60 percent will give us uh, the uh, gen gen general molecular formula for alkanol is CnH2n plus one 
OH. So okay. Is that clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. So with this, we have CN over CNH2N plus 1OH because it's 60 percent so times 100 so that means 60 equal to carbon which is 12 we don't know the number of carbon it is so and that's what we're trying to find out that will also give us the 12 n plus 2 n one times 12 okay. Okay. yeah 2 n no. then plus 1 16. Yeah, plus 1, plus 16, then times, plus 1 times 100, okay? Yes. 1 times 100. So this time around we have 60 to be equal to 12N over 14. 14 n yeah plus, plus 19, 18, 18 times 100 okay so if we if we cross multiply like we open this uh, so we're going to have eight four zero n plus one zero eight zero equal to um, two one two zero zero n so with this we have eight four one two zero zero n yeah minus eight four zero so one zero eight zero equals to one two zero zero n minus 840n. So what is 1200 minus 840n? So here we have uh, n equal to 1080 divided by 360. What would that give you? 3. Three. So we now put three into the formula, okay? So put n equal three in C N H two N plus one O H. Then we have C three H seven O H. So which of the option? So I see. Option C. So, yes. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Uh, formula says CN H2N plus OH. Plus one. For that N. Plus one. Plus one. Yeah. That is two times three, six plus one. Okay. Is that fair? Yes. So now let's check the next one is for who? Yes. Let's see. So I'm going to bring the options. Sodium,
Yes. Two and three. Two and three. John. If you take note, you will see that one and two are the same, right? They are the same family. Mm -hmm. Okay. O O H O H. No, this is C A three C O H. Why this is C A three C H two O H. So it is the one and two. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Size B. So. The next question that is for, <coughs> for Moses. Okay, Tai. That's my Tai. So, let me. Substance is, is not a reducing agent. <laughs> So, um, Tai, what which option do you go for? Um, if you are talking about this first, second, and last option, they are reducing agent, but oxygen is an oxidizing agent. Okay. So they are reducing agent. Oxygen, oxygen is an oxidizing agent, so that is the answer. Okay. It's not reducing agent. He said, which one is not a reducing agent? <laughs> No, I said it's not a reducing agent. He has a name, that's a name. That's a name. So, the next question for Moses, right? So, what's your option, Moses? C. Are you Moses? Moses. <laughs> uh, uh, in a chemical reaction, uh, yeah, chemical, chemical <laughs> equilibrium is the state in which the forward reaction rate and the reverse reaction rate are equal. So, the results of this is what we know as equilibrium. The concentration of the reactant and the products do not change. So you are right by saying C, okay? 
So the composition of combustion. Mm -hmm. Which option do you go for? <laughs> C, sir. C, which is two and three only, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, Exothermic reaction. reaction that are always exothermic. Neutralization and combustion. What I said is not correct. Let's see what you mean. Like, at least I shall know one of them. Shall know one of combustion. Mercy. Don't don't be an accuser of the brethren. <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. okay. So. At least when somebody answer question, whether the person gets it or not, there is no crime about that, you know. Just listen to it. So we need to so mercy. I mean uh, Sarah, Sarah, read this. This of exothermic reactions. Come in such read it. Any combustion reaction, a neutralization reaction, rusting of iron, rust through with wool vinegar, the thermic reaction, reaction between water and calcium chloride, reaction between sodium sulfide and bleach, dilute sodium hypochlorite, reaction between potassium permanganate and glycerin, permanganate and glycerin. So this is where we'll be rounding up for today, okay? Ah, please wait. Stop. We want to rest. So we do it. Okay. okay. okay.